irrespective of what they say, they met at Eve Nightclub. I think. No, it's the first time they hooked up, I think. But it's the first time they met, I think. We're actually at a pub down the road, so uh, yeah, our usual hangout spot at the time. I thought he was a bit of a goose, but that's all right. <laughs> like, literally, I thought he was like an Elmo doll, like he just used to laugh all of the time. I know for a fact that was a move that Seth, Seth undone and Jess to, you know, lock and load that stuff. But it was at Eve Mouth Club that he actually made a move. Oh, he's got this walk when Seth on walks. He kind of lock left foot, right foot and dips. Left foot, right foot and dips. And then drink. Get out, my name's Stefan. And she locked it. Dance if you got no money. Dance if you got no The first time he asked for my number, I did say no. I did say no to him. And then well, Jazz's colleague who, you know, knew them, he was, she was like, she came marching up to me at the Botanica and was like, um, did he just ask for your number? And I was like, yeah, I said no. And he goes, she goes, no, give it, he's the good one. He's the good one. Give it back to back. Stefan. And she's calling him over and I'm like, I'm not giving him my number. Yeah, it kept me, kept me interested in on my toes. He gave me a call and he goes, bro, he goes, he goes, I did it. He goes, my right knee collapsed on me and I dropped the one knee and I hung up on him. But I did speak to the special man. <laughs> a real surprise when he asked, he came to me and asked for my permission to, to marry my daughter and, and I thought, I like this boy, I like this boy, he's, it's good, yeah. Dad's not old fashioned and he's not, he's my kindest person in my life and it was nice that he went to him, yeah. I'm walking my daughter down the aisle, which is something I've been looking forward to for all my life. She's going to be stunning, as all brides are. But being my daughter, she's going to be more stunning than most brides. They say you're not you're not meant to hit the crowns. If you do, it's bad luck. Because they, they normally say that if it, if, if it does touch, well, yeah, there goes the money down the Google sort of thing. And I just think that's too much pressure to put on somebody. Like, <laughs> but if they clicked it, I'm going to be like, it's fine. Just don't worry about it. It's not going to be bad luck. It's you know, you choose your luck. Don't worry. <laughs> Why do you think they work as a couple? Maybe because she's like a. She's got the hair of a Milky Way, like, you know, white chocolate, he'd be more brown chocolate. Oh, they're yin and yang. Total opposites. I think they're total opposites, but they, they get along so well. Yeah, he, he's, he wants everything perfect, which just is more laid back. So it's give and take. A bit of yin and yang there, as far as that goes. And I think it's, that helps make a, a full union, a full person. You know, you need both in any relationship to, to, to balance it. She's very different to everyone else. She always uh, pressure you to get the best out of you. And um, yeah, she really manages to push me to my, past my boundaries and achieve what I didn't think I could. He's just a goof and he's just got such a kind heart. After a while, I remember saying to one of my friends, I was like, I can see him being the father of my children. That was one of the first realizations I had was when I knew he was going to be the father of my children and I was like, I like this guy, I really like this guy. <laughs>